Now we're here, of course, because one drowning is one too many. There have been five beach drownings this year in Nassau and Suffolk, two in Long Beach, one in Jones Beach, and two in Suffolk County. And we are here in the town of Hempstead to help people stop the drownings. Rip currents are like a funnel perpendicular to the shoreline that literally sucks the swimmer away from the beach. Fighting the rip by trying to swim against it, swimming towards the shore, which of course is a very, very natural instinct, but that's exactly the opposite thing to do. The best way to beat the rip of the rip is to swim parallel to the shore. So parallel to the shoreline until you're out of the force of the rip current and then you can swim back to shore. If you can't escape the current, float or simply tread water. Eventually that rip current will bring you right back to the shore. Never swim in areas obviously that are not patrolled by lifeguards. Lifeguards are literally your lifeline. Don't take it upon yourself to swim outside the colored flag areas or in areas where there are very few people or no people around. You are just setting yourself up for difficulties. If you're not feeling well or if you're not sure about your swimming skills, don't go in the water. The ocean, we have to all respect it. There are natural tides, there are natural rips all the time. And no one who is a casual swimmer or even worse, a person who doesn't know how to swim, they should have no business going into the ocean. 